Hey everyone, I'm Erica, and this is a short little sequence, little practice uh, as a, I'm calling it a squat progression, to work on your squats, to focus on squats. Really easy, you can do it as a warm-up or just a couple of times through the day if you want to really work on your squats. And I've been using it with my students and seeing lots of improvement really quickly and noticing it in my own body. So we're going to start actually in down dog and start with non squat but something that we're going to, we're going to just explore the deepening of the hip crease. So for down dog, just let your head be heavy. Hands are slightly wider than shoulder width, index fingers pointing straight forward, feet at hip distance, and then push your hands down and forward, push your feet down and back, and let that lift your hips up higher. And then walk your feet together so your big toes touch. Have a look at your feet. Your, all your toes are in line. You're going to keep your toes in line with each other. Keep your left heel reaching towards your mat and lift your right foot up. Don't let your foot come back. Don't let your hip open up to the side. Keep your toes in line and really focus on lifting up through your hip crease. So these are your groin muscles and you're just working on lifting your foot up as high as you can, keeping your left foot down and then place your right foot down, other side, press your right heel down, keep your toes in line, lift your left hip up. So you're going to twist a little bit to the left, but try to keep it minimal. Try to focus on just deepening the hip crease and lifting your hip crease up, and then lower that foot down. So again, your hip crease, this line here where your leg bends at your hip, you're lifting it up, and you're trying to bring the front of your thigh towards the front of your pelvis. We're going to do it again with a little bit of a change. This time we're going to lift the right foot up, keeping the toes in line, and then lift your left heel up this time. Lift your right hip crease again, and then keep your legs straight and bring your leg forward. Lift your hip crease, maybe bring your leg forward again. Lift your hip crease, maybe a little bit more, and then come back. Lower down, big toes touch, left side. Lift your hip crease, lift your right heel. Keep your legs straight, bring it forward. Lift your hip crease, lift everything up, lift your hips up, your pelvis up as much as you can, bring that foot forward without touching the floor, and then come back, big toes touch, lower down. So with deepening the groins here, engaging the groin muscles and deepening the hip crease, you can see when you're in this position, it's like you're lift, lifting that crease straight up. So once we start to move our body into new positions, the the direction is not going to be straight up anymore, but within the body it's going to be the same. So, as you come into a lunge, the angle is back, kind of back towards your back foot. So make that same movement just as practice to deepen your hip crease. So instead of just bringing your foot forward, make it really active, the engaging the groin muscles. And then you can see the same thing in a squat. It's moving, this time it's moving down, not quite straight down, but back towards the back corner of your mat. So really engage, don't just hang out here, but actually deepen the hip crease as much as you can. And then we're going to come up to standing and start our, our uh, squats. We're going to start with the feet at hip distance. Actually, start by bringing your feet together, big toes touching. And then your feet are going to be nice and parallel, and this is the anatomical position we want to keep our feet in. Keep them pointing exactly forward as they are and step them out to hip distance. Bring your arms out in front of you, wrists at shoulder height, relax your shoulders down, and then think as you start to come down into your squat, think about deepening your hip crease. Keep your heels on the ground and only come down as far as you can with your heels on the ground. So for some people, they're going to stop here, that's fine, stop where you need to stop to keep your heels on the ground. And then squeeze your knees in towards each other as you come back up. You're going to do that from the side with my feet at hip distance. Make sure as much as you can, keep your knees over your ankles. Try not to send your knees forward, but instead send your hips back. Deepen your hip creases. Really engage your groin muscles to come down. And then back up. Keep your feet pointing the same way they are. Step your feet halfway in. And then again, focus on your hip creases. Keep your knees where they are. Keep your heels down. So only come down as far as you can with your heels on the floor. And then roll your thighs in. Squeeze your knees towards each other to come up. Bring your feet together. 
big toes touch. Keep your heels on the ground. Send your hips back. Keep your knees where they are. Deepen your hip creases. Come down. And you might be able to come all the way down. You might not, so that's okay. And then come back up. Take a breath. And we're going to do the same thing, but on our toes. So building some strength. Again, keeping your feet pointing the same direction as when they're together. Bring your arms out for balance. Come up onto your toes. Find a focal point. It's always helpful for balance. And then keep your knees as much as you can where they are. Send your hips back. Come down. And then roll your thighs in. They're going to want to roll out. Roll your thighs in. See if you can keep your spine upright as much as possible. Try not to lean forward too much. That takes might take a while to build up the strength for that. And then feet halfway in. Come up onto your toes. Find your focal point. Keep that focus. Keep your spine upright as much as you can. And then lower your knees a little bit. Focus on your hip crease. And then push your feet into the floor. Come up. Lower your heels. Bring your big toes together. Come up onto your toes. Lower down. Deepen your hip crease. Maybe sink your knees a little bit. Inhale, back up, lower down, release your arms. And then we'll do a strengthening, a nice core strengthener, full body strengthener with the squat. So you're going to start with your heels, or your big toes together, heels together. Arms come out for balance. Inhale, lift your heels, sink down. And then inhale your arms up and center. Exhale, twist open to the left. Inhale up. Exhale, open to the right. Keep your knees squeezing. Inhale, lift. And try not to let your knees shift as you exhale, twist to the left. Inhale up, squeeze your knees. Exhale, right. Keep your navel moving towards your spine. Inhale up. Exhale, left. Inhale up. Exhale, right. Don't forget about your legs. Keep them squeezing. Keep your navel moving towards your spine. One more each side. Exhale, left. Inhale, center. Whoa. Exhale, left. Don't worry about falling. That's half the fun. Inhale, back to center. Press yourself up. Lower your heels. And there you go. So you can practice that every day and work on strengthening, work on deepening the hip creases, becoming more aware of your hip creases and those groin muscles, and your squat will improve dramatically really quickly. Enjoy.